My name is Calvin Waite and I trade Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for a living. Today I wanted to talk about a, a coin that I don't personally trade but um, is very fascinating and today it looks like we're having a pretty strong day. Uh, this is Theta and Theta on Binance. This is the one week chart and um this this coin uh looks like the type of coin that could really be profitable if you traded it correctly <laughs> so you'll notice that back um in the beginning when so june of 2018 is when this coin appeared um weekly it it had kind of traveled down then we had this wild rise that was about a, a 3x and then it came back down in the same week uh, we finally got our 21 week moving average here and once we had a green candle close above the 21 week we were on a we were on a run again and then here we got rejected off of a, a bearish engulfing but this this rise if you'd have en entered at 1500 and exited at 3,000, you would have even, you would have still doubled your investment here. So kind of watching the behavior and uh, you can see how this drop, there was sort of an oscillation here. And then we kind of quieted down into a quiet period, but, and all the while establishing a really awesome support we showed a little bit of life as we kind of climbed up above the 21 and then we retested our support managed to establish a higher support and then closing above that 21 we haven't looked back so this is a triple already and the, the trade's not over yet so this this is kind of an interesting coin i'm looking over at the daily how I normally would trade something like this is I would look for sort of this red zone. Once we exit the red zone, we would we would buy. So here we're in at around 1300 satoshis. We exit when we get out of the out of the green zone, which is so this would have been a a solid 100% return. And then here we are, we exited a red zone. We would have entered again at, at like 1200 and then we got really choppy. So this was a question whether you wanted to reinvest or not. Uh, 1000 would have been a very possible entrance, but had we entered here and re-entered here, um, then we're on a roll. And the behavior is if you can get these three trend lines to consolidate down into a bundle where you've got your um, kind of a quiet period gives the chance for a price to hover when it when it starts hovering above the trend lines they start to spread out so this would have been kind of a break-even trade so this would not be an exit since we're not here to make $15 we're here to make a good amount of money on, on our trading so uh, right here when we finally get above the trends now everything starts opening up and uh, look at this this spike here 60 6200 6300 <laughs> that would have been quite quite an exit if you'd have had the fore, foresight to uh, set a target but if you're just trading as usual, you would just kind of ride things through. Uh, this would have been a questionable exit, but once we enter back into the green zone, it looks like we're on a pretty good run. So one other thing to look at is where, where did the support and resistance lines end up? So we have, we have a support at around 2191 right here is where we've kind of established ourselves after um, putting down our base so here are a couple of here are a couple of lines we have our rising support here 
This is our long term rise in support. And then we have our We have our fast rise line right here. So these two these two lines will kind of dictate the behavior of, of this for the next couple of years. This one for sure, this will be very, very long. It's gonna go through a bull run and do whatever it does. And then finally when things kind of quiet off, um, we may reach this line as it's increased over time. This one will come into play. <clears throat> so when we get up here where we're getting crazy volatile, uh, things get wild for a while and we start looking at, at uh, these types of support. So if we ever drop below this blue line, uh, we will be looking for an exit here. If we drop below the 50, uh, that's usually a sign that things are kind of cooling off. But I mean, look how long we've been in this in this move. We've been over a month in the green zone and we're still going strong. The other, the other um, level to look at is this right here. We have, we have a, a horizontal support going on right now. And we are exactly on this. <clears throat> so when we establish a resistance line, and then we come up and touch the resistance line, and don't get fully rejected off, if we get rejected below the halfway mark, that's when this uh, trade structure uh, falls apart. But since we, we did not go down below half and we're back touching the line again, uh, there's still another push to be to, to go for further. So this is going to be a pretty good run for those that are in, in uh, theta right now. Uh, could last a couple more weeks. and um, But still, the best, best case scenario is that uh, we make a push and then we consolidate and if we can consolidate sideways and give a chance to, for some of these lines to catch up then um, the structure will be really nice for a continuation so anyway for those that are trading theta i hope that helps you hey look at that you made it through another video if you appreciated anything i said i would really like it if you could give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if I can grow the channel a little bit more, I'd love to start doing giveaways and make things a little bit more fun around here.